Tell me the story of Billy Green, the player who you, you had a lot of high hopes for. Well, you see, you see, in those days, I did it all. I was the coach. I was all my assistants. There were no assistants. Right. I had no scouts. If I had a day off, we played Wednesday and Friday. I had a day off Thursday. I'd have practice in the morning, get on a plane, go out and see doubleheaders. or something. So I went to see this kid play in New York. Billy Green. And he hit 12 for 13 shots, 6 8. Wow. Moved, moved good. It was really good. So, like I said, I had no staff or anything, so I drafted the kid. Mm -hmm. It was the last pick. And he comes in. We find out he won't fly. <laughs> won't fly? Won't fly. So I don't know what they do. So finally, we talk to him. Everybody talks to him. Hey, you want to play pro ball? You want to make a living? Blah, 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 blah. We're going to St. Louis. Come on. We get him towards the airport. He breaks away. So I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. Wow. So he takes a bus, and he meets us there. Takes a bus to St. Louis? To St. Louis, from Boston. <laughs> like 23 hours. So he gets there for the game, and he says he'll fly home. I said, well, that's it. Same thing happens. We get him to the airport. All of a sudden, he disappears. Takes the bus back to Boston. Wow. As soon as I saw him, I said, here's your car for your home. See you later. Yeah, that, that, that's a might have been. Mm. Wilt, okay, here we go. Now, people don't know this, that Red was one of Wilt's first coaches ever. This is Kutcher's uh, up, upstate New York, I guess it is. Yeah. And you said that he just was too stubborn. He, he wanted to do things his own way, and he wasn't really coachable at, at, when you knew him as a young man. Well, he was a kid that was spoiled. Uh, Eddie Donovan? No, no. The guy that spoiled Will was my good Gottlieb. friend, Eddie Gottlieb. Uh, Gottlieb, I meant. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Gottlieb spoiled him where, uh, I don't know, he practiced when he wanted. He lived in New York. He used to meet the team. And, and if I had a guy like that, it would drive me crazy. Mm -hmm. And people used to say, what would you do if you had Wilt? I said, I couldn't have him under those conditions. Because mm -hmm. something would have to give. We talk about feuds, Wilt and Russ. And they were friends once upon a time. And, and Wilt maintains still good friends. I asked Wilt. No, oh, they're not good they're friends. They're not good friends. No. Okay. Well, this is what he's, he thinks they're still good friends. Anyway, this one. They don't talk. Said. You ever have a good friend you don't talk to? For 20 years. <laughs> Wilt talked about what he admired, though, of Bill Russell. I want you to listen to what Wilt said, what he admired most about Bill Russell. Well, I, I think that he's been uh, a type of guy early on, like myself, he went out and, and made statements and stood up for what he believed in, in, in the way of racial discrimination. And, and there were a lot of things that happened during the time that, you know, things just weren't so smooth when we were playing back in 58, 57, and he actually was before I. And he stood up for his beliefs in those ways, and I really like him for that. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about not so smooth, we're talking about some of the stuff that people didn't talk about then. His home was vandalized, Bill Russell. And this, according to one account, feces smeared on his walls and his furniture. He grew bitter, but he stayed in Boston, and then eventually he left. You had a, a unique relationship. I think there was one confrontation, or story anyway, in, in the old book, this is the old book, Winning the Hard Way, where he said you could not possibly understand what it is to be a minority. And you said, wait a minute, I'm a Jew. And you said, yes, but your skin is still white. But then there was a sort of reconciliation when he was named the coach of the Celtics. And, th and these are the great moments. Well, I that, named him the coach of the Celtics. Yes, right, right. But these are the great moments, the, the pictures of the two. And then there was this very, I think, poignant moment in the book where he's talking about his relationship and what he thought of you. And this is what Bill Russell said of Red Auerbach. This is from the book Winning the Hard Way. We could see it, please. There it is. When I took this job, somebody said to me, what do you take it for? You got nothing to gain. You got to follow Red Auerbach. I don't think I'm going to be another Red Hour back. Who wants to be another Red Hour back? My name is William Fenton Russell. Felton Russell. I heard a lot of coaches and a lot of writers around the country say the only thing that made you a great coach was Bill Russell. Uh, he's talking to you now, Red. He said, that, that helps, certainly. Yeah, but that's not what did it. This is Red's team. Red picked every guy here. Now, this is kind of embarrassing, he said, but I'll go so far as to say this. I like you, and I'll admit that there aren't many men that I do like, Red. I'll say it once more. I can't imagine ever playing for a greater coach. We'll be friends until one of us dies, and I don't want too many friends either, Red. That must have made you feel pretty good. Well, we have been friends, and we're still friends. His daughter, you know, is a graduate of Harvard Law School. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bill Russell, to me, is extremely bright. Extremely bright. And... Uh, 
All he wanted to do was win. When he would play against Chamberlain, uh, well, I'll give you a typical example of a game. Russell at the halftime would have 15 points and about 16 rebounds. Chamberlain would have about 10 points and about 12 rebounds or 11 rebounds. Mm -hmm. Then we'd get way ahead in the third period, and I'd take him out. So at the end of the game, we'd win by 10, 15 points, and the papers in Philadelphia or wherever, they'd say, Celtics beat Philly, Chamberlain outduels Russell. Right. He outdoed Russell when Russell was on the bench. You maintain Russell was the better athlete, the better winner, the better basketball player, but better athlete than oh, Will yeah. Chamberlain. No doubt about it. Russell used to get mad at Chamberlain talking about his exploits in track. Mm -hmm. Russell was a bona fide track man. Right. He oh, could've... Johnny Mathis had a high jumper. Well, he could have made the Olympics as a high jumper, mm -hmm. and he ran the 220 and the 440, you see. Mm -hmm. So uh, Russell said one time to me, so why don't you set it up put up $20,000 or whatever, and I'll have him in the decathlon. <laughs> I'll eat him up. That would have been something I'd Well, I'm going to tell you one thing before you start. Chamberlain was a great athlete. Don't ever get me wrong. He was a great athlete. But you ask any of the players in that era who they would have preferred, uh -huh. and they'd all pick Russell. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.